Hey, we're going to cook again. Like this time, we're going to use the George Foreman grill. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to cook steak. I went over to the Smiths today. Got this little guy here. Normally $9.12, but I paid $6.83 for this little guy. Nice little deal. You get a lot of good deals over here at the Smiths. <clears throat> Let me show you this milk I bought today. Now this one says that it's fat free. Look at the price on this. 49 cents. So I asked them, I said, now the last one I got was $1.49. I asked them, why is... Why do you guys always marking your milk down like this? It says it's sell by April 11th. Today's only the third. You know what I was told? They overbuy. Why do you guys overbuy? Well, you know, I've mentioned before on some of my videos, I sit right on the border of another state. And this other state, they actually tax their food. So those guys, they come over here and they do all their shopping over here. I don't blame them. I'd do it also. All right. So I'm also going to have some potatoes with this steak. Since I only have one pan, I'm not going to have any vegetables. So it's just going to be steak and potato night. I'm just going to decide on sour cream and chives, applewood, whoops, applewood smoked bacon. Roasted garlic and parmesan with baby reds or butter and herb. Hmm. What was that? Applewood smoked bacon it is. I'll put these back up here. Cupboards are pretty full now. I love having full cupboards. All right, so we're going to have steak, and applewood smoked bacon, mashed potatoes. I'm going to pause this video, try and get all my stuff gathered together before I actually start cooking. Okay. I think we're all set to go. Let me get some more light on here. So here, I've already measured out everything. I've got my two cups of water in my saucepan, ready to go. I already seasoned one side of my meat. Got my George Foreman grill hot and ready to go. I'm going to season the other side as soon as I get the meat on. Are you ready? There we go. Let's pull this out so that it's not directly underneath my cabinet here. So I don't want that to go steam right up underneath the cabinet. I'm going to pull this out just a little bit. All right. Ooh, that is nice and warm. Ooh, good deal. It's been so, so cold around here lately. A little bit of warmth actually feels good. Pulling out my fork. See, I didn't have everything ready. I didn't have my fork ready. Now, I'm not going to be doing any tasting or anything, so I feel comfortable enough put, using this fork to put this stick on here. You hear that? It's sizzling. Now, let's season the other side. We're going to cook both sides at the same time. A little bit of season oil. A little bit of Monterey style steak seasoning. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Don't want to go crazy with spices. We want this meat to be good. We'll close the lid. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to turn this heat up to high. So I want this water to get to a boil. When as soon as this water is boiling, I can take it off the heat and add my potatoes. These potatoes, well, it can be a steak and potato meal. How about that? That's quite ready to go. Voila. One plate, clean and ready. Set 
that on this burner here. Now we're just waiting. Do, 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 do. No watch. Something I need to purchase. I need to purchase a lot of things. But we're gonna put a put you on hold. Well, wait, take a peek. Oh. A little bit of weight on this. One of the things about the George Foreman grill. Oh, that gets hot. George Foreman grills, sometimes it's not heavy enough to put even amount of weight on the uh, on the top of the meat. <coughs> and since I don't like to flip it over and then, because you're not supposed to, you should be able to cook both sides evenly. Put a little bit of weight on here. If you don't want to burn yourself with the steam, it's always good to have something that you can put the weight on there and let the steam come up around you without burning yourself. If you've got a pot holder, that works really well. I'm using this towel. Got this little drip dish that comes with it. Any fat should go into that. Oh, now that's starting to look good. I like my meat a little bit medium. I don't want to overcook this. The water's starting to get a little bit bubbly. Don't run away from me. I don't want to drip onto the counter. It shouldn't take too long. Getting a little bit of steam on top here. The steam is a combination of steam and grease. So be aware of your surroundings. I don't know if you hear that. You're going to hear these pops every once in a while when you do this. Like I said, it's the first time this Foreman grill has been used, but I've used these grills a lot quite familiar with, with how they re react and interact. There's a little light on the top of this grill. Let me show you this real quick. A little light on the top of the grill. When it's on, it's actively, it's actively warming. When it shuts off, it's at its, it's at its temperature. Can you see it? It's actively warming right now. Let's go out for a second. And when it shuts off, if it shuts off at this point, my water is starting to boil over there. Almost ready to call that. Okay, did you hear that pop? That light went out. And now it's at its temperature and it's cooking. It's still cooking. Let's take a look at this meat. Oh, that looks good. I really don't want to poke it too much. Let's take a look. Let's flip it over just because. Put it back down. I'm going to hold it again. Now this does get hot. Be careful with it. See how that water is getting over there? My meal is almost done. The light came back on. It's actively heating again. One of the things I like about the George Foreman grill, it's very easy to clean as long as you clean it right away. I mean right away. About 10 minutes into this video, my meal is almost done. The longer you let this food sit on this on this grill, the harder it's going to be to clean. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, this, we're going to call this done. Good 
just for measure. Sear the edges just a little bit. And this is something some people do, some people may not want to do. It's all according to you. I'm going to unplug this grill. George Foreman grills, if you've got it plugged in, it's on. If you want to turn it off, you unplug it. That's how it works. There's no on off switch. It's plugged in, it's on. That didn't take very long to cook at all, did it? I'm going to leave this sitting inside there so it stays nice and warm. I'm not going to cut it while it's sitting on the grill because I don't want to damage my grill. What I want to do now is I want to stir my potatoes. Look at that. Yeah. Another new item that I purchased today. Let's cut this open. Supposed to be an easy way to open these, but I don't know what it is right now. Oops, there we go. At least it went into the sink. Whisks. I want the small one. This is a very small job. I didn't feel like going down to the dollar store. That's a three hour walk. I'll do that walk probably tomorrow or the day after. So I bought these over at uh, Smith's, a little package of three. A little bit more than what I'd normally be willing to spend. But, turn this off now. Remove it from the heat immediately. The back burner. Stir my pan. Whisk this together. I bought the whisk for something that I got for dessert. I don't know if I'll share how to make her what I'm or how. I don't know if I'll share a video on my making of the dessert, but I got myself something for dessert. I don't mind showing you what I got. I got banana, banana pudding and some fresh bananas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got two boxes of these. This one I'm already using the milk for. Instant pudding, put some bananas in there with it. I'm gonna have a dessert. All right, dinner's done. Quick, simple, easy peasy. Clean up some breeze. Where my breakfast and lunch dishes. Okay. So, plating is very simple. The steak on. Potatoes on. Since I don't have any vegetables, put all the potatoes on. Still probably too much. 
but whatever I don't eat, I'm going to a Ziploc bag. I can eat later. Voila. Dinner for one. That's how it's done. Remember, I'm not cooking for an entire family here. I just cook for me. I use what I got. Use what you got. If you don't have a whisk, use a fork. I bought the whisk so that I could make my pudding. Since I had it, I used it for my potatoes. Just made it easier. So there you go. I'll see you next time. Till then, eat wisely. Have a great night. God bless you. I'm going to go say my prayers and I'm going to enjoy this meal.